Hey there, Conflicts and Cards, December 22nd. Shut away with God. Revelations 2.10 says, Fear none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, but be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. By the emperor's decree, John was banished to the island of Patmos, condemned for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Here his enemies thought his influence would no longer be felt and he must finally die of hardship and distress. Patmos, a barren, rocky island in the Aegean Sea, had been chosen by the Roman government as a place of banishment for criminals. <clears throat> but to the servant of God, this gloomy abode became the gate of heaven. Here, shut away from the busy scenes of life and from the active labors of former years, he had the companionship of God and Christ and the heavenly angels. And from them, he received instruction for the church for all future time. Among the cliffs and rocks of Patmos, John held communion with his maker. He reviewed his past life and at thought of the blessings he had received, peace filled his heart. In his isolated home, John was able to study more closely than ever before the manifestations of divine power as recorded in the book of nature and in the pages of inspiration. In former years, his eyes had been greeted by the sight of forest-covered hills, green valleys, uh, fruitful plains, and in the beauties of nature, it had ever been his delight to trace the wisdom and skill of the creator. He was now surrounded by scenes that to many would appear gloomy and uninteresting, but to John, it was otherwise. While his surroundings might be desolate and barren, the blue heavens that bent above him were as bright and beautiful as the skies above his loved Jerusalem. In the wild, rugged rocks, in the mysteries of the deep, in the glories of the firmament, he read important lessons all bore the message of God's power and glory. By the rocks, he was reminded of Christ, the rock of his strength, in whose shelter he could hide without fear. From the exiled apostle on rocky Patmos, there went up the most ardent longing of soul after God, the most fervent prayers. We can worship God throughout any circumstances. Amen. Hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.